Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with episode 3 of the Total War Attila Sclavenians campaign. So in the last episode you've seen as we <laughs> skipped a lot of turns to get to our Unshakable Defenses permanent buff. Uh, and we also occupied two new settlements. Um, Moramar and Sidley Salius, I don't know. But yeah, that's more places to make us money and we're also building this building which gives us ridiculous money from just a simple building. 600 from culture. Like dang. The only problem is, of course, Squalor is going to run rampant there, but that's fine. Uh, also, the Huns declared war on us after raising, like, everything here, so that's nice. Yeah, this is all desolate. Wow. And the Huns are right here, of course. So, it's going to be interesting fighting them, and I also <laughs> told everybody that I have never fought the Huns before in an Attila campaign, so this should be interesting. But yeah, let's get into it. So... Honestly, I think I really just need to boost all of my defenses. Um, the Huns are going to come in ridiculous numbers. And hopefully, honestly, I would rather if they attacked all at the same time. Like if multiple stacks attacked the city at once. Because if they attack once and I beat them back, and they attack again and I beat them back. The third time, I probably won't be able to beat them back. Let's see Ulden's there. And of course, when Attila comes of age, it's just going to be even more ridiculous. But they haven't attacked yet, and at the same time, I have incredible buffs against them, so we should be able to hold out. Like, I'm actually going to look at everything we have now, once we get back to our turn. <laughs> oh, holy vision. Good omen. Excellent. So we have plus 10 melee attack, melee damage, and morale, or melee defense, rather. And plus 20% melee damage against Nomads, so that's all against the Huns. And then with Unshakable Defenses, we have plus 20 extra melee defense, so that's plus 30 melee defense against Nomads. Plus 10 morale, and our upkeep and replenishment are great. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, so the Huns shouldn't be able to break this place at all, honestly. Oh, look at this guy. Excuse me, you will be loyal, and you leveled up. Uh, take the corruption down. Yeah. So that made us a little bit of extra money. See, like, I would push out to fight, but I can already tell that the Huns would destroy me in a field battle. I don't really have the units good enough to take on horse archers. Like, these guys, they just get destroyed, really. Uh, in three turns, we are going to have Slavic Spearmen instead of them, which might be a bit better. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, we need to focus on our economy. Our economy is going to go up really well because of this building, so that's good, of course. Um, how's our religion spreading? Oh, everything else is going down now. And ours is going up a lot. That's great. That's excellent. Yeah, we're going up pretty good. Lovely. Right, so we can't really find any more friends now. The Gruthungians are probably going to get destroyed. Uh, and most people hate us. Greetings, friend. Yeah, they, don't, they have no interest. I broke that alliance because I thought the Huns were, weren't going to attack me. And then they did, because they're scum. Those scumbags. They tricked me. They tricked me into breaking the alliance and then declared war on both of us anyway. How could they? Because our Huns, obviously. Oh, they just killed the army there. Yeah, the those guys are screwed. But with luck, we should be able to uh, hold back the Huns and destroy them. With luck. Hey, excellent. Well, the Bastarnians and the Huns are at war, all right. Yeah, but the, these guys don't like me. I don't like how they're looking at me either. They're like, hmm. Expansion. It's like, no, mate. The, the Huns are coming. They're going to kill us all if you come near me, you idiot. They don't care, though. Right, so yeah, see see how much that went up by? My god. But now Squalor is a problem. And we have to wait until 4 to get that. And the next one doesn't really bring up it, bring up your money that much. So, yeah. If this spread everywhere, that would be so great. But. Yeah, like, why is this one better than 
I don't know. Either way, we'll get the sanitation building and we'll start upgrading that. Like, see, I don't know why this one only affects this one. <clears throat> Whatever. It's all good. It's all good. So we're making okay money now, a thousand. It's not great, obviously, but it's not too bad either. Um, like I said, that building really did help. See, like, I want to be offensive. I want to move. That's the way I usually play, but I know if I march an army out here, the Huns are going to swarm it, and it's going to get destroyed. So I can't. I literally can't. So we just need to save up. We need to turtle. We need to make money. And we need to upgrade our armies and get more men. And then we can move. But until then, I need to sit still and just worry that the Huns are going to wipe me out. See, they keep sacking that place every turn, so that's actually quite interesting. That's not even Olden's army now. Hmm, where did his go then, I wonder? Unless he just killed himself in an auto-resolve, I don't know. That'd be pretty interesting. I highly doubt that's what happened, though. But, you never know. Right, so the Allens were destroyed. That's interesting, wow. The Lugians and the Huns are at war. Oh, we had a noble birth. Look at that. What, a new daughter? No, a new son. Lesota. Then we have a bastard daughter and our real heir. Or our legitimate heir. There we go. Uh, I should put some people in offices, shouldn't I? I'll give you something. Oh, you're a general, so yeah, never mind. Yeah, all of you people get special stuff. Um, we could upgrade this. That'll take our food, though. And our food is at 15. And yeah, we can't upgrade that anymore. Oh, is it because of winter? Yeah, look at that. Bad winter, plus 5 squalor. Dang. Dang, man. So I am tempted to run these guys up here and start settling the rest of these places. But at the same time... A Hun army could easily just be like, eh, hey, hey, fuck you, and we're going to take this place. And I wouldn't like that. Also, considering the fact that it's, like, undefended. That would give us a better chance if I did upgrade it. So, you know what? Let's do that. That did take a lot of my money. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. And honestly, I don't think we need this. So, that'll give us more money as well. So, yeah, let's go up here and start settling this province as well. Scythia. We got wood from that. That's pretty good. I'm okay with that. Right. Yeah, again, like, I, I, I can't stress it enough. I'm sorry that we can't really m do much. But until the Huns come here and weaken themselves, we're kind of screwed. But we are expanding in a way. We are getting new pro new settlements just by uh, resettling. So that's kind of, like, that's the whole point of the Slavs anyway, actually, now that I think about it. So we're playing the playstyle that they should have, I suppose, so. Uh, is that Hunnic army really wasting away, trying to re like retaking that city all the time? It looks smaller and smaller every time it attacks. That's interesting. It is also taking attrition as well, so that helps. Yeah, the Gruthungians just keep raising armies and the Huns keep attacking and dying. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Good job, Gruthungians. Your only purpose in life is to die, basically. Our Imperium went up. Um, you can take it. Excellent. Oh, we finished that research, so now our spearmen are ready. Um, so yeah, let's start doing some other stuff. Um, what is this? What does this need? Alright, we'll go for that then. Um, we don't have one yet, but next turn... Are you kidding me? We're gonna be two away. Ah, how lame. Alright, we're getting closer and closer to that. We'll do that, of course. Oh, that's way more expensive. How much more armor do they have? Seven more armor. A lot more health, though. And a little bit more melee defense, but damn. That's a big chunk. But at the, but at the same time, it would be nice. Let's upgrade one. Yeah, it brings me down by quite a bit every time, but... At the same time, it is worth it against the Huns. Those spears. Uh, it's also good. It also costs 530. Brings down our income quite a bit. Well, we might as well do it for now. That brings us back down to making hardly any money, but... 
it is nice. It'll be nice to have those troops. And of course, if we keep resettling new areas, that'll help. So we have our other governor here. So we'll do that. Recruitment capacity plus one. That is useful. So now we'll be able to recruit four units instead of one. That is good. That is good. Definitely. Let's see if the Huns will get wiped out even more now. Oh, well, they're... they're. And now, see, now it's bigger. But they're not doing any... They're not encamped or anything, so it doesn't make much sense. Interesting. I'm going to check to see how many units they have, and then next turn we'll see how much they have. The shield wall is always stronger when... Oh, I suppose I could have. Because, well... The Huns are already at war with me. That was the whole point of why I turned it down in the first place. Oh well. So yeah, let's see how many men this Hun uh, this Hunnic army has. Oh, it's over here. Whoops. They have 11 units. So next turn we'll see how many they actually have. And we'll see if they're getting new units on the sly. Alright, so we can resettle this place too. Excellent. Awesome. So yeah, we'll do that. And that'll be a new place that we can make money from. And we'll even get a little growth surplus thing there as well. So good. Does this affect... This only affects regions, right? Our regions in the province. Yeah, it doesn't spread out. That sucks. It would be nice if it did. That also gives growth. Like, damn, that's a really useful building. Very useful building indeed. Um, so yeah, next turn we'll start building that there. Yeah, that gives us a little bit of extra money. Right. So we're just making a little bit more money, which is good. And yeah, this place will like never be attacked unless people start running up here, but I don't think they would. Um, I would hope they wouldn't at least. Is there anybody we can trade with now? No, we're completely surrounded by desolate land, basically. Oh, the Burgundians have become a horde. That's because someone wiped them out, I suppose. Damn. Oh, I can get a new governor, right, in Scythia. Um, you're like the only suitable one there. Um, what would be useful? What's the religion like here? Considering we should be like the only people living here, you would think that it would be just ours. Ours is the only one going up, so that is good. Yeah, let's get let's get more paganism here. Excellent. Right. Yeah, every every time they attack that place, <laughs> they just run back and start raiding more. But yeah, we'll check to see if they have new units. Something's going on here because they're not they're not getting new units. They're not encamped, so we'll see. We'll find out for sure. Nope, they have the same. Okay. Bad autumn. What does that do? Less public order. Oh no. Gives more food though. So that's pretty cool. Right, so we'll start building the sanitation thing. Yep. So that'll help out here. And yeah. In a couple of turns when we can build something there, we can. And honestly, we'll probably build the waterworks here as well, and we'll just move on. Yay! So how's the religion doing now? Plus 3.7 3 per turn, that's awesome. I greet you in my master's yeah, they don't like me. We might have to, uh... They'll probably be the next target, honestly. See, like, this is the thing, I want to know where the Huns are. But that's the only army I can see, so that's what it's showing me on the map. Um, 
So maybe I'll get one of these. That is going to take most of my money, but... Oh. Oh, they're literally the same thing. All right. I'll get her then. We'll send her out this way to see what's going on. All right. Oh, it's so funny that that's always happening. I don't know why they don't just take them out. They're not making anything off that. Oh my. And there they go. Another another poor general. Just put him in the city for God's sakes. I mean that army must be in terrible shape. It must be. Right, so, yeah, we're still waiting to build that. If we leave, this place is going to be pissed, probably. Yep. Minus six. What's that from? Religious differences. It's all from religious differences. Hmm. They are in the majority, that is true. I mean, yeah, minus six is big. But I want to get more land. I need more land. Is this part of it? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter then. If we just force march there, the public order won't even be a problem. Oh, force marching didn't give me any extra movement. Like, that sucks. Anyway, let's get down there. Yeah, this army must be in terrible shape. Like, it must be. Alright, let's go spy on some Huns. I don't know where they went. If they left, that'd be pretty cool. Can I get peace with the Huns? I doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Interesting. I would also like to probably attack them if I could. That'd be a good expansion route down this way. But at the same time, again, I don't really know what I can do. And that sucks. So what am I getting from this? Just sanitation and growth. Alright. That's fine. More growth is always appreciated. I definitely do not mind that. Uh, every time. Every time they just attack that place and run off. Or they attack the army outside and run off, rather. Very interesting. Once we, once we resettle all these settlements, though, we'll have an excellent empire to actually expand from. So, that's good. Oh, we can actually settle it this turn. Excellent. So, we'll colonize it. Beautiful. Now everybody's not pissed. So, we'll go ahead and build the well, so that when we uh, fix this place, we can build the new thing. Greetings, friend. We will speak together of whatever you wish. But can I have that can, can I have money? Hearts. Oh, not that much. Come on now. I'm not trying to bleed them dry. Only a little bit. Oh, okay, 699. Nice. I don't think that's enough to get it though. Oh, it is. Ha. Excellent. Well, we just tricked them into giving us <laughs> enough money. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, we we are getting a nice chunk of land, and there's still more yet. Is that desolate as well? We're getting right into the uh, the White Huns land, though. They start, like, around here, do they not? Or maybe it's... I don't know. I don't know where they start. Either way, all of this is desolate, so... Eh, who knows. This is, this is the last part, right? Yep. Wow, that's a lot for one place. Well, then again, all of these places are huge as well, so... It kind of makes sense. Right, so we're making a thousand thirty-seven, respectable. What, do you wish of me? what is she doing? Can't find anything. They've actually lost a unit. All right, that's cool. These guys have a. Oh. Look at these guys actually building up a bit of a force. Interesting. 
they might actually defeat that Han army eventually. Dang. I'd like to see that. If they defeated that army, that'd be good for me, because then I'd be able to see their next army in the Fog of War. But it's probably not going to happen for a long time. I'd send an army to help them, but I just know, I just know that they would come right out of the edge of the Fog of War and attack me. I know they would. It didn't happen with the Huns to me before, but it's happened with other factions that it shouldn't have happened with, so... I can only imagine that a horde army like the Huns can just come out of nowhere and attack. So I'll, I'll hold off on that. Alright. Rank gained. Are you a governor? No, oh, you must be. Um, was it you? Indeed. Alright, so you can make this place happier once you get down there. Excellent. Cool, cool. I mean, we could go down here, but at the same I I don't really want to because God only knows what's here. And then these guys might be like, oh, yeah, declare war. <laughs> and then they could run right up to this place. Which I don't really want. But at the same time, it's more money that I could have if I did it. So yeah, let's do it. I know expanding this quickly is, again, like I just said, opening my borders to multiple people just going like, oh, let's attack. But... In my eyes, it's worth it. Don't know about you guys. Because the more money we can make, the better. How much is it? Is this thing to build? Um, oh, what was it? It wasn't that. It's a Druga. It's 1800. Alright, so we'll be able to build it next, or not next turn even. It'll have to be the turn after. Alright. I like this, I, I I don't know what to think about this playstyle, like I like it because it's still expansive so I feel like I'm doing something productive, but there's like no battles man, like people, like again, people, oh there's a, there's a horde right there, interesting, um, but like there could be battles if the hordes actually attack me, but they all ran past me except for the horde in the beginning when I attacked them, so, or did they declare war, I think they declared war on me actually, but either way, it's all been just peace and hordes just running away from me basically and the huns aren't even attacking me which is the interesting part because they're too busy with everybody else i suppose but like that mission is literally supposed to mean like these guys are coming to kill you so you better be ready i'm just like oh boy but then no one attacks you like at all so i don't know can i hit this in one turn oh oh well but yeah, that'll be good to have. Um, this place is a little bit upset, but that's fine. What were we just researching? Was it this? I think it was. Um, what else do we want? Wealth from industry, wealth from commerce. Is this uh, is this cultural money? Yeah, so we'll go for the culture thing. 3% from cultural. Might as well. And we could upgrade this, or that would take, yeah, that would take all of our money, so never mind. I want to build this next turn. That's right, we'll end another turn, and we must be approaching the end of the episode by now, I would imagine. Sadly. And we're getting there. Oh, I didn't move her to check that horde, damn. But here, like, you can see, oh, it's the Burgundians. Okay, they're heading this way. There go the Huns again. I'm going to have to see if I can like camp right here and just check out what they have and see how much their army is getting destroyed because it must be like there must be like next to nothing there. I'm going to have to send my sp my uh, my agent down there. I just love they just constantly build a new guy there and just leave him outside like please. He's like please bring me in. I don't want to be out here. Come on. Right. So yeah, Burgundian's there, that's cool. Um, so let's move down here. Trait gained, loyal. Hey, Braslav, nice. Thank you. Alright, so we'll take this. Awesome. So now we can build the, um, the Zadru Zadruga stockade. Oh, also a prime forest. No, but we need this. This gives us a lot of money that I really, really, really want. So then, of course, the sanitation's good, which is excellent. We can also build something here when we want to. 
But yeah, we can, we don't have the money to. Oh, come on. I need like I need like 28. Oh, we know of the Afrigids. Oh, they just reoccupied that. And yeah, they're at war with the White Huns. That's what I thought. So now we're bordering the Afrigids. Interesting. Um they don't like me either. Rulers cultural prejudice. Oh, what a bastard. Culturally intolerant. That's pretty good. You honor us. There's food enough for two armies awaiting us. Oh, I need to ask for 300. Wow, they just... Okay, thanks for the money. They just willingly give me that much money. Whatever, I'm not going to complain. Alright. So yeah, we have a good we have a good empire now. We own two complete provinces. And then uh part of another one. What are the ones that we needed for the objective? So Hyperborea, so we have that. Transcarpathia or Pathia, whatever, and Germano Sarmatia. So basically Roman separatists. Holy cow. That's interesting. Alright, so we'll end another turn. And when we come back we will end the episode. And that should be good. But yeah, we might actually get some uh, some action in, since we're now bordering a faction. But against uh, starting the war with the Sassanids, I don't know about that, because the people that the Afrigids are allied with the Sassanids. So I'm not too sure about doing that. Not too sure at all. But, uh, we'll see. Hey! Ha! Uh, hey! It's a shouting contest. Right, so my agent will get her down here. I really want to see what's in... Yeah, see? They have new units. What is that? It might, oh, well, mercenaries. That's true. Rank gain from Braslav. Excellent. So... Oh, he's actually got quite a few levels. Hmm. We'll give you some integrity, my friend, because you probably don't really have anything. Yeah, more ammunition for missile units? I don't know. That's not really going to do anything, but... Right, so we've expanded as much as we can, basically, through peaceful terms, unless we go down here. But that borders us with a bunch of the eastern factions that are all satrapy, so... That's just bringing risk to me. That I don't really want to have. Yeah, so next turn we'll have more money from that. So that should be pretty good. But yeah, guys, uh, am I going to end the episode here? Or do I want to end another turn? Because we don't really have anything else to do. And you know, we have a little bit of extra time. We have like three minutes. I mean, I might as well. What we're researching is almost done. And there's nothing I can build, I don't think. I don't have like any money. Yeah, okay. We'll end a turn. <laughs> One more turn and then we'll uh then we'll end the episode. Just to see how much money we'll be making next turn. But yeah, now a hardcore mix of turtling and a ma hopefully offensive power begins because now that we have this much land, we can actually make decent money and support multiple forces. So this is where we can actually start doing something. We can actually move a little bit. But uh, it's really weird. I've never played a Total War game like this before because this is the only time you've been able to do this. Peacefully resettle and build your empire that way. So it is interesting. It's a big change and I'm not quite used to it. <laughs> Hopefully as the campaign goes on. Aww. Aww. They like just had her. What the hell? I don't even remember seeing the notification for her. Oh well. Um, right, so what was I doing? Yeah, we're making more money now, good, because we built that, and I could upgrade it. But I would want to do this first, of course. But that would take a lot of money. We'll have enough to do that, I'm pretty sure. Good. We're making good money, that's excellent. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying the series, make sure you're subscribed, because it's going to be coming out every couple of days. This has been Overkill, as always, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.